welcome back to piratey stuff. So, last time uh, we played, we ran afoul of a kraken after avenging dear old dad. And so here we are at the Isle of Jeanette. And uh, let's go ahead and check in here. I said I was going to get to what this little envelope thing was. And uh, looks like we have found one of our old crewmen, Crewman Rick. <clears throat> He was waiting for us at the tavern. Uh, it's where we usually meet when our paths separate and all that. And uh, his brother Jack went to go look for us at the Isle of Louisa and Amelia. So we should probably head there and catch up with them. But we've got our nice little veteran crewman here. That's a that's a happy, happy thing. And uh, there's a few other quests here. Um, so we've got Big Buster. Uh, this one... We need to collect some uh, some things and deliver them to the Isle of Amelia. That'll be done by either trading or, uh, well, let's be honest here, taking over another ship and stealing all of their cargo, should they happen to have that. And someone else's debt, where we hear about a uh, gentleman who owes a pirate baron some moolah. Uh, but they're extremely gullible, and hey, you know what, if they're that gullible... We may as well go and uh, take it from them. Um, so having done these before, I can say that uh, there's a lot of, well, a lot of repetition on these. You can do this one, it'll open up in a couple weeks more. You'll do this one again, it'll open up a couple, like, couple weeks more. It would be really nice to see um, a few other things open up that are a little more unique. Uh, however, as we progress in our reputation on this particular one, it opens up other ones here. You see these aren't available yet, and we can't do those. But uh, as we increase our reputation for that particular faction, they'll also open up. I am actually not going to take these right now because I said I wanted to focus a little bit more on my questing, on my storyline type stuff, and uh, grab some cannonballs here. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm just going to leave those there for the time being. Um, let's see, so where are we at stock-wise? Pretty healthy, I've got a decent stash of uh, Rusty and my free Rusty. You can see the damage differences, these are 11, these are 13. Uh, these have better range though, uh, so that's always worth considering. Here's my uh, bar shots, these are for taking out sails and rigging. And here's my, I need to lay waste all the crew. And then just some high-quality cannibals, because, of course, there's high-quality cannibals. Um, we can also come here. You can see we can pick up some rusty uh, bar shot. Uh, we can pick up some decent shrapnel here. And uh, and we can pick up some, some more rusty cannibals. Um, and we've got some stuff that we can sell off here. These are my Sea Dog Chronicles. These are great for getting some uh, experience and all that kind of stuff done. Um... I'm just gonna go ahead and sell these. I want I want to stockpile up some cash here. My ultimate goal is to actually get a better ship than what I've got right now. Um, so you see, I've got two of these. I've already got. Uh, I thought I had one of these already. Which one was it? Maneuverability, right? Yep, maneuverability. Um, let's see. I'm gonna. Going to nab. Hmm. Huh. A lot of good choices here, really. I am going to... Let's see, am I going to do some boarding? I'll probably do some boarding, so I'll take you. And uh, you see that'll lock that one out. That's fine. I can always reset later. Maybe. And uh, I'll stick with maneuverability. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. So let's back out of that. How's my crew doing? Uh, got a, you need 50. Okay, and I don't have enough for that, so. Let's see, who should I train up here? 
Let's train up my little guy down here. Let's train up my little guy up here. Let's train up my guy there. That gives us a little bit more capability. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move these two guys up here. I'm going to move him down here. That. Let's see. One, two, one, two, two. And uh, if I move these guys up and this guy down, down, 120, 87. All right, that I can live with. Okay, good. <clears throat> And uh, let's go ahead and set course here to uh, go find, let's see, they said uh, Luisa and Amelia, those are these guys over here. So I'm going to come around and uh, I'll have to fix that one there, I'm probably going to. I, ugh. nope, not going to, not going to mess with that. Um, there we go. And uh, hello, friendly pirate people. <coughs> So, of course, uh, these encounters that are popping up, you see there's an auto and uh, and the big bubble here. One of the things that you can do is you can click auto on those, and it'll automatically resolve what the battle will be. The AI is a much better fighter than I am most of the time. Um, so here you go. So you see it's the same quests. Uh, they don't necessarily change. Once you're on it from any given port, you're on it for the, for the whole... Um, Okay, not going to give me anything in there. So let's see. So Jack's not here. We need to go to the next island. That's a shame. Let's see if there's anything of use over here. Uh, let's see. Cannon upgrades, but I can't even uh, approach affording that. So I'm not going to mess with it all too much. And uh, I don't have any experience to spread out, so let's go ahead and head back out. So he's not here in Amelia. We're going to go over here to Louisa. Um, I'm going to swing out this way and see if I run into anyone who's not a friendly. And we'll take a look at uh, how the auto works and all that kind of stuff. While I'm visiting pirate ports, I really don't want to make enemies of the pirates. That would just be a bad day. You can't actually dip low enough in your reputation where you won't be able to access that particular port. So, yeah, I want to avoid that. All right, let's go ahead and pull in. I didn't run into anyone. That's a shame. So, he's not here. He may have gone back to Jeanette. Let's see if we can catch up with him on the way. So, we're getting a bit of a runaround. And, uh... Yeah, you can see I've got those still. Um, still nothing there. Anything. Oh, they've got one of these. So, yeah, these little things, uh, stones of shielding and things like that, they're different relics, icons that you can put on your ship to give them special abilities. Remember, we had the mortar cannons. Um, in that particular case, it blocks incoming fire, which is a nice thing. Um, let's see. I'm going to pilot myself out this time. Hello to the boat! And, uh... Yeah, let's take a look, see how this goes. See what we run into along the way. There, There's always things to run into. Now the thing about this is once you're in this view, you can't necessarily avoid any of the encounters that happen. So you saw when I was out on the map, I could avoid encounters by just not clicking on anything. It's not so with this particular one. Uh, in this one, once they decide to engage, they decide to engage. And uh, you'd better hope that you're pretty well set to take care of them. So... My... I mean, but look at this environment. I mean, this is nice. I've got a great little sun shower. The sun's obscured behind clouds. The, the surf and the chop coming up over the bow of the boat. Uh, look at my rigging. Look at those some solid triangle sails. Oh, man. Let's turn my wheel here. <clears throat> so, it, it's it's nice. It, it, they did a, a pretty good job. For, for a game that just came out of early release, they did a remarkable job of getting things... Uh, mostly polished. I have run into a few 
glitches here and there, which maybe I'll see if I can replicate uh, live, or live, ha, in the recording. Um, but for the most part, I mean, look at the detail work on the cannons. Yeah. Kind of worried about those cannonballs not being lashed down. Rough seas, they could roll around and cause some serious damage. Uh, but, you know, hey, to each their own. So we're heading to Jeanette. That's going to be... Oh, no, that's going to be this guy out here, right? Yeah, that's this guy out here. So, um, <laughs> I will say one time I was running around. I, I actually think it was in my initial gameplay video where I was just kind of testing things out. I ran into some sea creature that tried to eat me. And holy cow, that was a surprise because I just finished fighting off a couple of ships. Uh, I'd survived them, and then all of a sudden I just see the telltale shade of red on the water that says something's targeting that particular area. And all of a sudden this massive beast just comes up out of the water and jumps over the boat and all that kind of stuff. It, it was impressive. I was... I knew the Kraken was there. I didn't know there was a Leviathan thingy. So, but yeah, this is how this is how this kind of rolls. You can speed up your uh, your travel by two hundred percent. So you see now we're really cruising along, and it's it's nice. It's refreshing that you can just kind of open world this, and uh, get the sun setting, storms on the horizon. I'm just gonna watch this for a bit. Um, it's nice that you can just kind of pick up and do whatever, whatever you really want. Oh, the wind is not helping me. Let's see if I can tack into it a little bit here. A little bit better. Not too much. Try this way. See if we can come under it. No, nope, not so much. <laughs> back, baby, back. There, there we go. Um, all right. So about under uh, efficiencies down just because of the wind. I mean, look at that. You can see it straining the sheets. I mean, I am moving at about a two hundred percent speed increase. So yes, it's looking a little choppy and a little. Kerbally, I guess. Yeah, you know, when you're accelerating Kerbal. <gasps> what is that? What is that? Is that... That's... Ooh, Rocky Shoals. Okay. Uh, where am I? I'm here. They're, they're not charted. Ooh. Alright, so let's avoid them. Oh, hello the boats. Ships, I should say. They are ships. And, uh... What is... What is here? So, we're gonna go ahead and slow things down a bit. No more 200. That curiosity compels me to take a look at this and see what we've got. Um... So this is probably one of the benefits of open worlding. You explore a little bit. I've just picked up some uh, nice treasures, and uh, let's furl the sheets and take a look at this. What have we got here? So didn't didn't pick up too much. Just some just some coinage. Oh, let's not not run aground, please. But that is certainly interesting. All right, uh, where was that on my? Okay, so right here in the middle of everything. Interesting. Huh. So there you go, discovering things, interesting things. That's kind of cool. All right, let's cut out here. And, oh, look at that. Look at that. They're tracing out constellations. Uh, 
There's something else out here too. Let's let's set a course towards it and uh, see what it is. What is this? Who is this? <gasps> Did I catch up to them? I think I caught up to them. Remember they said I could catch up if I charted a course towards them? I think I may have found them and caught up to them. Well, hoorah for that. So let's drop alongside. We'll hail. And hey, there is... Oh, so... Jack is back. The monkey didn't make it. Uh, and Petros was caught by blackbirders. So... We need to stop this ship and, uh... Free Petros. Okay. So we've caught up with Jack. Look at that ship. I want one of those. What do we got? Three gun decks. That's, that's, that's a healthy set of cannons that they've got here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen... Six. That, that is a beast of a sh I would not want to fight you at all. Look at your three decks of guns compared to my one. Can I have your ship, bro? Please? No? Oh. Well, alrighty. So let's go ahead and unfurl the sails. Let's pull away. Bid them fair tidings. Fair winds and following seas, my friends. Thank you for delivering Jack back to us. And, uh... And, yeah. So, that, that that's a little... That's a little look at the at the open world nature of it. But I, I'm not going to do this too much. So I'm going to... Go ahead and reverse course here. They said they were back at Amelia. Amelia was this one down here. Uh, let's, let's not ram them and uh, let's take a look at the map here and see what we've got so here we go these are the black murders right here if I recall correctly new quest art yep faithful friends so let's go ahead and let's see how this goes I have a hunch that it could either go very well or it could end miserably I don't know but uh, this is a good proper encounter so what do we got here Where's our... Ooh. Where are ya? There he is. Alright! Come around hard! And, uh, you know, I'm gonna go after boarding. So let's knock his, uh, knock his sails out. And, uh, let, let's see if our maneuverability helps us stay out of his guns and keeps him in ours. Now he does have mortars so I cannot avoid that damage in the slightest and to be fair oh he's outmaneuvering me okay but that's okay I'm gonna rake him here with that and uh, oh let's see how we do let's see how we do he is actually hitting fairly hard and the wind is not doing me any favors. Um, come on, guns, rotate. There we go. This is a good spot to be in. This is a beautiful spot to be in. And uh, I cannot tell. Since I lost my spyglass, I can't tell what his current status is. Now you can tell I am totally outmaneuvering him. That means his sails have really taken a beating. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my shrapnel here. See if I can't take out his personnel. Get ready for a boarding party. And uh, let's let's see if we can't get our friend back. He is, he is running no sail right now. Oh gosh. Open those sails. Keep behind him. Keep astern. Ha ha ha. I'm remembering some of the things I learned when I was in the Navy. There we go. Oh gosh, don't let him cut inside. Ow, we lost a guy. I hope he's just injured and not dead. 
There we go. Oof. So it, he's, he's hurting me pretty good here. But I, I've got a... All right, let's see. Is it sails that I haven't finished off yet? Probably. Oh, I missed my spyglass. I need a new spyglass. Oh, that's going to hurt. Uh, rotate those cannons up, please. There we go, there we go. Oh, be beautiful. And yes, we're good. So this is where I've run into some glitches and bugs. And I'm, I don't want to risk it on a storyline. Alright, let's send my fighters over. Let's take care of this guy back here. Ooh. I probably should have adjusted my guys on deck. Because they are absolutely demolishing me. This is not good. Not good. <laughs> uh, nope. I, I think I goofed on this one. I should have pulled more guys off my sails and cannons to get things ready for, uh, for this big fight. But... See if I can't turn it around a little bit here. Get this guy off my get this guy off my ship. Nope, I I totally goofed here. I'm not good, not good. I lost this one. Oh, uh, that's it. Nope, I lost this one. I can tell they're gonna get my guy here. My ship's gonna go under. This it. Uh, yep, and that'll be that. Oh, after all that, I goofed because I didn't pull my guys in. Well, there's always next time. And next time, I will be going after them wholeheartedly. And they won't stand a chance. So let's come in here. Oh, look at this. Let's heal him. Let's heal him. Let's heal him. What I should have done is before, uh, while I was underway, knowing I was going to get into a fight, um, I should have pulled this guy off my sails push this guy up here had uh, had some solid personnel up on deck ready for a fight I'm gonna go ahead and hire a couple people here and uh, let's get him down let's get some fighters down here get him down get him down I can pull him okay uh, let's Let's see at 102. Uh, that is not bad. That gives me some... Four out of the six possible shooters and two fighters. I have no one in reserve, though. What if I put him... Put them up here... Uh, that still doesn't give me a reserve. So, anyway, well, what I'll do next time before jumping into it, I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on training these guys up a little bit, get a proper fighting force set up, build up some experience so I can get the new guys trained up proper. Um, and, uh, you know, let's get my repairs in. Oh, that hurt. That hurt just a little bit, but it happens. I'll, I'll be back. I will get them. Don't worry, my friend. I've not forgotten you. We will we will get you out of that miserable, miserable situation. Anyway, I'm going to leave that right here. Um, again, I love this. It's a fun little simulator. The, the environment is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, bearing in mind, it's not a AAA title. This is an indie game. And uh, for an indie game, you know what? This is absolutely remarkable. So, so yeah, you know, if you haven't tried it out yet, I highly recommend trying it out. That's uh, Tempest. It's available on Steam. Check them out. I've got links in the description below as far as where to find it and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. The publisher's site, the developer site, all that. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's it for today. I, I kind of sunk. Ugh, next time. Next time. <laughs> Goodbye.